Welcome back on the next episode of One Piece. Chapter 9, Callings. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for out to something in the high spirits. The prince goes forth astonishingly to seek the blessings of the high dream. See these words, hard to pronounce, which will enable him to challenge the empire's might. But his true heart desires to find Luna Freya has betrothed. 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 Bet- betrothed. Screw it. So when people said this map is bigger than anything I ever played, were they serious? Because this is intense. Wow. So, I think the blue that you see on the map is probably us. Where we sit still is at the top, and to the bottom right is where we're going. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Luna Freya came to have the Ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. All the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just Pretty chalked much. it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hmm. 
For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. Uh, are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <sighs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The Whoa. government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord Whoa. knows. 
This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky <laughs> us. That could have ended badly. This looks awesome. Wow. I already like it here. What's next? Immigration? Um, what do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just... <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga... Mag... Maga is the name, yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program? In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, this amount should suffice. Oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. So, we're looking for the guy from the picture. An estranged friend of the cave. Not. You ever meet him? Nope. Never met him. Ah, first things first, how do I get over there? So, hmm. Alright, figured it out. I wonder how it looks here when it's night. down here easily every time I do I'm on this side oh, there we go um hope they're not stealing anything This 
same dressing room? Oh my god, don't tell me I'm back up here. That's it! I'm parkour I'm out of here! Ah! I wonder, is she really gonna leave the army? You seem quite smitten with her. Which one is it? One is what? Her or Cindy? RNA or Cindy? Oh, yeah. wow! Okay, uh, whew, uh, let me think about this for a sec. I've no doubt both of them can wait. Aha. Uh -huh. I already went down here, haven't I? Y you don't know where to go when you're new to a place, so I mean, could someone help us out or something? Like. There we go. Um. Are they supposed to take a boat over or something? Get out of my way, nerd! Shoot. Always downstairs. All right, all right, we can figure this out. It's not like I'm lost or anything in the new city with this stupid bar we have to head to. <sighs> Boy, you can help us out. Care for a ride? Okay. Just take me to. This is not helpful, I think. Okay, it should be there. <sighs> yes, over there. Yes! You did it, sir. I thought we can find a way on the second floor and head down here, but there was none. Million gill question. What are we eating? Gentlemen. Oh, we made it. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskamama, as you gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you oh were only a babe at the time. Let's grab a bite. The first black character on this game I've ever seen. That is rare. Uh, take uh, Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. The Archean's awakening resulted in the destruction of the disc. Yet the government proceeds with the right. There's more to this than we understand. Uh, let me get this shot. Accurate. Oh, love the lighting. Bet the view's even better from a gondola. Based um. on the government's actions, it would seem Accordo is supportive of the Oracle. Despite being under the Empire's thumb, therein lies the riddle. Is Lady Luna Freya truly safe? Now I see. People flock from far and wide to the walls of water. I guess I would talk to him. The Empire effectively runs the show here. You lose sight. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Me. We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my Lord. dear community, <laughs> it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. He just stood there. Yes. Staring. Gentlemen. I won't waste your time. Hillary Clinton. My name is Camellia Clostra. 
First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. I guess Let's so. Let's take a look inside. <sighs> Alright, guys. This has been an episode of the Paris. I really want to kill something, but hey, you got to have your first glimpse of us leaving our home to go to another place. Let's just head over here. Where's the main mission at? Oh, let me look them up. Okay, so I have to land there. Gotcha. It has been a pleasure. Uh, yep. A beautiful place, Monsieur. I have no money at all. So I can't even pay for food at the moment. Now let's get this ball right. Beautiful place, though. <laughs> and Fantastic. I miss ears. Call when you need a ride back. Get out of here, nerd. All right. You see this, Noct? What about it? That's the same thing you showed me earlier. Split. Touring the town, then use our famous gandalos. How about a ridela on the gondola? We just did promptly. Could have mentioned this earlier when I was lost. You again? Gentiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories, summon all the new rest out pauses. Can I attain the current love abilities? Alright. The place you call Umbra, reset as your last rest point. Hmm. Oh, kinda confused. Greetings. I have no money. Call huh, Umbra. Travel to passages. Um. I don't know what pass means, but well, let's just save to see what would happen if I said child to pass Lucius. Out of my way, nerd. Alright, you. Welcome there. back. Will you be requiring a room? Shut your mouth. Wait, call him, bro. Hey there, puppy. Let's see. Child of Pass Lucius. Hillary Clinton back again. Core audio. 
and a Lamborghini. I'm in a Lamborghini. I'm in a Lamborghini. I think I'm going to end it here. You got to see Paris in a Final Fantasy game, guys. What do you think of it? Because I think it looks beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Although, I was kind of bored because, you know, I love action, killing, but uh, two of the episodes have been so chill. <sighs> so chill, bro. So chill. It makes me want to hunt again. Gotta get those bounties. But more than anything, I want my regalia to fly. What? What? What's that? Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The hunters are already looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more hands. Got it. Huh. Um. <laughs> um. Um, see guys, this is why you saved your game, because I would have been pissed. Um, so I'm going to end it here and load back, because we are far away from the alley now. Oh my god, I should just get myself a face palm. I know, Gladio's hat. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> and load back. I'll see you guys on the next one. I can't believe I failed that hard. 